In my previous video, I explained ZMPT module along with its schematic and output waveform. And today in this video, I'll make DIY version of ZMPT module with the help of this transformer. Let's get started. First, we need a transformer. Center tap transformer is not needed. We need a smallest and cheapest one. You can also savage such transformers from old adapters. This gives me 5.5 volt DC, but this rectify circuit is not needed. So now I will desolder the wires and connect these wires directly with the secondary coil. And at the output side, I connected these wires with the trim pot and I also made some adjustments so that I will get 2.7 volt at the output. Now it's time for me to use the Arduino. I soldered wires to the Arduino as shown in this figure. I used Arduino IDE's example code analog read serial. So this example code reads analog voltage at A0 pin prints the value on a serial monitor. As you can see we are getting some values but these values doesn't make any sense but it is a sine wave which we can see when we use the serial plotter. But this sine wave is not satisfying so I changed the baud rate and now we are getting more samples. So now we are getting more number of samples. These are the ADC value which belongs to secondary coil of the transformer. Each ADC value starts from 0 and goes up to 1023 which is 2 to power 10 and as you can see the yellow color waveform is the actual waveform at the secondary end but this blue color waveform but unfortunately our Arduino can only measure positive peaks of the AC mains voltage and it cannot measure negative voltage hence we get 0 as you can see on the top and bottom we have zeros and in between we have some values. These are the ADC value. If I try to plot these values then I can reconstruct a sine wave. So as you can see I'm just writing down all these ADC values and these values will give me a positive peak of the sine wave. So we can say that the peak voltage is 469 which is ADC value so now we have to convert ADC value in terms of voltage reading with the help of this formula we'll get something as now it's time for me to re replace the trim pot and use equivalent resistors I don't have auto transformer so I just turn on and off different loads and measure the voltage drop for a transformer, the voltage drop at secondary side is proportional to the voltage drop at primary side. So when AC mains voltage is 220 volt, we have 4 volt at the secondary side. And similarly when it goes to 225 volt, we have 4.1 volt. So this data is enough for me to predict the rest. Now it's time for me to enter the programming madness. So the first code which I wrote was total failure, the second code worked really fine and this program spits out AC voltage reading on a serial monitor. For this program I used two arrays, coil voltage and peak voltage. First I used a for loop to add zeros in all the elements of the array. In the void loop section I used a for loop inside another for loop. The for loop with int j takes 200 samples with the help of analog read command and the second for loop which is int k. This will try to find out the greatest value out of these 200 samples. These steps will repeat up to 30 times and this value will be stored inside coil voltage array. I'll take the average of these 30 samples and use this map function to convert ADC values into its equivalent AC mains voltage value. And finally, I printed this output on a serial monitor. 